Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zias Caravalla from ZK Research, and I'm here in Paris at Extreme Connect 2025, with, which is Extreme's user event. I'm with uh, Hardik Ejmera, uh, VP of Product Management for Extreme. Uh, Hardik, first time on with me, so great to have you. Uh, just a quick intro on yourself and what your job here is. Absolutely. Great to be excited to be at Extreme Connect but even more excited to make the debut on the <laughs> most popular Zika. So thank you for the opportunity. So yes, I'm Vice President of Product Management at Extreme Networks. I have the pleasure and the honor to lead our product management team for all applications, cloud, uh, on-premises, and the most exciting, which we've been working on, Extreme Platform One. Yeah, well, this was a big connect. I've been to a lot of them. Uh, I don't remember when there was this much news coming out around product. Uh, the lead item, of course, was Platform One, uh, which to me was an interesting launch because it, in some ways, all the other connects up to this point were leading up to this moment, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you had to do universal hardware first, you had to do cloud first. And so talk about what Platform One is and the value it's going to bring to your customers. Absolutely. But I love the way you set it up where we had to do a lot of the foundational work. Journey started way before three years. Universal platform, universal licensing to simplify a lot of the upfront. And then now the big leap with management. So extreme Platform One, one place to manage, monitor, optimize, all the personas, network operation, security operation, and even business people for all technologies customers come to Extreme for. Wired, Wi-Fi, fabric, SD-WAN, and security. All technologies in one place with AI embedded from the ground up to help them for all jobs to be done with complete control in our customer's hand. Okay, so. AI is an interesting topic because it's very broad. Uh, every vendor you know, talks about it. There's a lot of other events in fact going on this week. AI is a big topic of those. And so within the context of platform one and your customer base, what does the AI let them do? Absolutely, great question, Z. So ZK, what we've done is we introduced Extreme AI Expert last year as a tech preview that was more about conversational AI, right? Which is where the industry has started to take notice yeah. in the last few years allowing customers to use human-like approach to talk with their network, talk with documentation. All of these jobs they can do today, our customers do it. This allows them to do it way faster, mm. sometimes which takes minutes, sometimes hours, to find documentation, find exactly what an alert means, now can be done instantly. So bringing down that hours and minutes to instant for a lot of the use cases. Then what we showcase at Extreme Connect user conference is two expanded capability of AI. One is the autonomous part. Yes. Where we've built the infrastructure, governance, data models with human in mind. Where a lot of the time our customers have come to us saying, yes, AI is great. But tell me what AI can do, which my experts, my IT team cannot do. The first and foremost is we need to win trust of our customers. We build the guardrails. We keep human in the loop always based on their preference. Our AI services agent, which was debuted at Extreme Connect, allows that 24 by 7 monitoring for all kinds of data, wired, Wi-Fi, fabric security, constantly looking at it, and now when there is any anomalies, any issues, it proactively responds. When customers want to connect with our world-class support team, now they have two ways. One, through AI, the other through the traditional email or phone route. AI now makes it very easy, automates the entire log data collection. Again, taking down that hours, down to seconds and making it proactive. Yeah, so this isn't, uh, just to be clear, this isn't designed to eliminate jobs. It's, it's meant to help the engineer do their job better. Absolutely. Yeah. This is, think about this as a complementary, giving time and efficiency back to our IT organization. We've heard from a lot of customers, they don't have enough people and always they have to do more with less. That's the first step we've taken with AI giving time back, automating a lot of that mundane task, which takes hours, days, down to instantly, and making things where it can, instead of being reactive, with AI, we can be proactive, 
helping our customers respond much faster to the business needs. Yeah, now some of the customers I talked to here were a little nervous about it, right? And uh, I thought the Microsoft speaker on stage this morning was interesting where he said, um, uh, there's no fast followers, right? Yes. You, you need to do AI. And I think um, in some ways, I think some companies look at adopting AI is risky, but I think we're at the point now where not adopting it is risky. Absolutely. Because you're gonna fall behind faster, right? Absolutely, yeah. that's where, right, the key is for us as vendors and our partners and customers to get in. Yes, every organization will decide who, how, where they start their journey with AI. As a vendor, that was the foremost foundation to build the infrastructure and guardrails so our customers feel confident comfortable and they know the data is secure so they when they begin their journey all the controls are in their hand they can decide who from their organization can use ai what they can use ai for once we win their trust they can expand the use of ai yeah i thought in fact i think a good way to think about it was when ed Meyercourt, your ceo is on stage this morning he sort of asked tongue in cheek who's got too much it budget who's, <laughs> right? Who, who's got too many people and nobody of course raised their hands because you don't have that anymore and so i do think you know when you think about the journey we're on while i think you've roadmapped to autonomous networks um i'm not sure people would trust that and to me, it's a little like the automotive industry where we've been road mapping to autonomous driving. And we still, I know we have some, you know, a few use cases here and there, but for the most part, we don't have it yet. But what we have now is a lot of features in your car that are AI based, like parallel park assist, lane change alert, adaptive cruise control that make us better, safer drivers. And so when I look at what Extreme has rolled out, a lot of your AI capabilities make us better, safer network engineers. Is that a good way to think about it? Perhaps. I yeah. love that yeah, yeah. comparison, yeah. right? I, I have dabbled being bold enough to try some of the autonomous capability yeah. of, uh, of the newer cars as well. And I was, again, just like most drivers, mm. this is cool, but I'm not sure I'll use it. Yeah. But then as I've started to use in corporate, same thing with network. That's where the key is autonomy with governance and control. Yeah. Every customer will use this differently, every network is different, but they will always be able to see this is a specific task where automation will help them. I do think it's, we're gonna see the ramp be pretty quick because it is a matter of trust. And the analogy I've used is, uh, I remember when I first started using, like years ago, Google, Google Maps and Waze, you'd plot on a, a route and it would tell you to get off the road here. And you would know that that's not the right way to drive. So you'd say to heck with it, I'm gonna go my own way and you get stuck in traffic. And then you do that three, four times, cause yourself some pain, yep. and you realize that the AI there is actually smarter than you, and you, you, you know, then you start to trust it. I think it is a bit of evolution. Now, um, you, know, you know, over the years, uh, you've built other management consoles. Extreme IQ is the most widely deployed one now. If I'm an Extreme customer and I'm using Extreme IQ, what's this migration path? Is it a big forklift upgrade? Do I have to do retraining? How do I go from where I am today to platform one? Yeah, great question. And again, Extreme Cloud IQ has been a great, successful product for us. We continue to develop. We're bringing a lot of new things to that cloud application as well. But yes, as we were building Platform One, one of the foundational elements was, while we have different on-premises and cloud application, how are our customers going to be able to get to Platform One? We've built something which is very interesting. Every time when customers think about migration, the first word which comes to their mind is risk. We wanted to make sure we take that risk out. That's where no matter which product our customers use today from Extreme, there is an additional value for every one of them when they connect that existing application into Platform One. Think about Extreme Cloud IQ, great example. It's already in cloud. We already have all the information for that customer base single click. Hmm. Once we go out with GA, they will see a simple option, click that, hey, I want to migrate everything or at a site level. I want to just move one site, new or existing, to see how Extreme Platform One and AI works for me. Choice is there. One click, they now go into Extreme Platform One. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to ask you about was AI Canvas. That was an, another feature brought into Platform One. What is AI Canvas and how does it work? Yeah, so that's another AI capability we've introduced, Extreme AI Canvas. 
think about that is right human how humans meet ai this is a collaboration of how humans will work with ai that was the concept blank think about canvas you can yeah. do anything all of us have done all kinds of doodling scribbling painting same concept but now for network and security today every time we put out new things customers love the view a lot of other customers like hey i wish the graph would look this way i wish if you can add one more filter we can do all of that we do that now they can build it themselves as easy as talking to ai simple examples show me a view of all my devices which are supporting ios late uh, latest ios devices it, yeah. show me all the sites which have more than 50 clients per access point hey show me all of my firmware versions which if they have any kind of compliance issue you have all the data but now goes from minutes to look at that data to a prompt instantly build your hyper personalized view every time you log in that view gives you real time data Yeah, the customers to me that are most excited about the your fabric customers where while your fabric has been a very, you know, powerful tool and a great differentiator, it's a bit of a black box, right? And so now what you've built with your platform one is the visualization tools to actually be able to see what's going on in the fabric and now if there are places where it might break, you know that you can run what if models things like that and i think that's very very complimentary yeah absolutely right our fabric has been the winning recipe yeah. for us for years customers love it we have a lot of customers who buy fabric by wifi from us they're like hey how can i see the rf map how it's correlated correlated to the service layer platform 1 brings all layers of visualization in one place you can correlate how a service like camera is running through your entire network how it's running over wifi wired what i said how it's segmented all instantly so you can troubleshoot better you can monitor but most importantly you can start designing much better when you can see it all in one place all right so last question for you ai obviously on top of everyone's mind You built a bunch of AI capabilities in the platform one for people watching this how should they get started with AI That is the most fundamental frequent question we get asked all the time I'm sure. one of the things <laughs> what we wanted to remove is the barrier to entry that's where there is infrastructure governance control they are always in control who what where they can use AI other is from a packaging perspective that's the main reason we've included extreme ai's conversational extreme ai canvas extreme ai service agent all within the base subscription now they don't have to worry about hey how many more licenses will i need i don't know if i'll use ai i don't know whether we are allowed to use ai they can start the journey with full confidence with their current budget so that now they can see the power the value of ai in their networks all right hardik anything else you want to add no again thank you yeah, so thank much you. for being at extreme connect we are super excited lot more news have come out this week we've been working on this for 2 plus years yeah. but rest assured lot more is going to come out on a weekly basis all right so platform 1 built on ai uh with the ai canvas to let you see more a little customization at all you also had some new hardware that came out as well apps wired wifi fabric yeah. ai all in one place all right so thanks hardik appreciate yep. having thank you thank you so much so on behalf of hardik ashmera i'm zias karaval from zk research and thanks for watching uh give us a like and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time on the next episode of zcast